But Can I ask you, Mr. Christopher, about the federally owned Crown Corporation, the CBC? What are their policies? What do their policies seem to be? Why are they, you dismiss them as being uh, difficult to deal with, if I understood that right? Can you well, give us more detail? Absolutely. I'm not interested in them at all any longer because of what they're, they told us straight off that they're not interested in educational children's programming anymore. Uh, it's not in their mandate. Not in their mandate. Right. To me, it's in ludicrous for a public broadcaster mm -hmm. to give up on children. I cannot accept it. And I don't, and I'm no longer, I've been a vocal supporter of CBC, but not CBC television. Until they change that, I'm not interested. They, they can do productions that, and don't, they don't have the same financial risk of all of us. If they don't invest in Canadian children, who's going to do that? They, they, um, I'm not, I have had no productive meetings with them. It's only APTN that will say, in our community, we want to cut it this way. This is how we tell, this is the cadence of how we want to tell a story. This is, we had to fight, just like they said, um, they had the same thing they wanted uh, subtitled in English. Well, um, unfortunately, Louise Flaherty, who's one of the other owners, who is now on a blind trust because she is the Deputy Minister of Education in Nunavut, so she can't be here every But at that time, she sat down and we fought and said, we cannot be speaking in Uktut and then showing English text. It doesn't make any educational sense. It's going to confuse. And then APTN finally listened and said, you're right, that makes sense. They at least, they might have ideas that don't work with us, but they listen. They've listened to our, uh, and they don't have enough money to trigger enough productions for us. But we need TV Nunavut. We need someone who can say 100% okay. in Uktitut, uh, a board that's deciding, the North needs to decide for the North, the Arctic for the Arctic. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I think the message should be. Mm -hmm. And if there's a program, mm -hmm. like in publishing, you invest in, in companies that are following correct business practices, and this, the subsidy is based on the level of productivity and innovation and bringing new people into the industry. So I, I would love that. Um, but at the moment, we have no stability in the film side, and it's okay. really difficult. Now, we have Inuktitut speakers in uh, Nunatsiavut, in Nunavik, mm. in Northwest Territories, yeah. uh, in Inuvialuit, and uh, in Alaska. Um, Will, could TV Nunavut uh, reach a, a larger audience of I Inuktut speakers? Is that part of the vision? I would like vision? a speaker to, to speak to that. Um, definitely. Um, all the languages from Greenland, uh, Alaska, Nunavut, and Greenland, and the Inuit languages all have the same root words. and just having visits or conversations with other Inuit in those countries, there is a definite interest in learning about other cultures and other ways of doing things. Like um, recently there was a young Inupiaq girl about three weeks ago who on Facebook and on Twitter she mentioned even if she wants to watch Kanuk uh, Isumabit online or Takuginai through the, um, because of some laws, she cannot access um, because of licensing and because she's American, she cannot access even to watch online. Like it's, but there's so much interest because. There's uh, similar experiences that Inupiat there, Greenlanders, Nunab, we all have the same similar shared experiences and we're all uh, struggling to um, revitalize or regain our languages. And no matter what you see in black and white and how Inuktitut is one of the language expected to survive, I think those studies have to, are not a true reflection of what is the reality today. And um, I know there's great interest among other Inuit, and I hope I answered your question. Yes. Thank you yes. very much. Very quickly, before I go to Senator um, Dasko. Mr. Christopher, yes. Two is that um, the largest bulk buys of our books is from Alaska. 
So there must be. It must resonate. So, colleagues, um, we have maybe about 10 minutes more, so uh, 